And I know when mm. I was doing the research about you, you've had amazing results on your clients, your customer satisfaction, your employee satisfaction, I should say. You've been very successful on that. Do you think that, that again, that is back to your core values? Absolutely. And it, it's all tied to culture, right? But I think one one of the things that's a common misconception is people think that, oh, if you're nice, if you provide freedom, flexibility, flex schedule, flex schedule and all this, that creates a positive culture. And I don't necessarily subscribe to that. What I'm getting at is you just need to be clear about what your expectations are and what your values are. Yeah. And you need to hold yourself accountable to sticking to what you say yeah. and then saying what you do, right? So my example would be if I know that meticulousness is one of our core values and during the whole interview process, right? I'm telling someone we cross our T's, we dot our I's, our average fee is 54,000. If our clients are paying these premium fees, we need to provide a bespoke white glove meticulous experience. Yeah. If you cut corners, if you have poor grammar or bad spelling, you're not going to be successful at Encore Search Partners. You'd be surprised at how many people self-select out of the interview process. Mm. It's intimidating to hear, right? Yeah. But for somebody where meticulousness is one of their core values, they love it. They gravitate towards that mentality, right? And knowing that all of their colleagues around them share the same passion for meticulousness, for professionalism, for competitiveness, you don't have to worry whether or not you're on the winning team because we are the winning team. Yeah. And we have very high expectations. And just because we say what we are and we hold ourselves accountable to it, that breeds an incredible culture. It doesn't mean we're all taking two hour lunch breaks and providing free snacks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just means that we're consistent in what we say we're going to do. And, uh, but, not to counter that, but just as an as an interesting sort of thought experiment. So I think certain companies are more designed for flexible working, long lunch breaks, working from home and things like that. And 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 in my business, my podcast booking service, we're all remote workers now uh, globally. And that works very well for us. But that might not necessarily work for executive recruitment. And so I think every industry desires and requires um, a slight tweak on the the, the rules that, that they have by, but it's being accountable as well. So if you're an employee and you're doing a job, you have to be accountable to your boss. Your boss equally has to be accountable to the team as well, that they are putting in the hours, they're putting in the effort, they're thinking about strategy, they're building the next uh, evolution of that business. So I think it's, I think every industry, every type of job, they, they, they don't need to, now the way you've crafted it works for your business outright exactly. it works exactly for your business but in a different industry or a different way they might need to tweak it so when you're thinking about this yeah. guys that are listening and watching this just think about those values that are important to you as a business owner because they these ones work for jeremy and your ones might be slightly different they might need a slightly different version but you do need to like values and culture in a company is so critical absolutely absolutely and again if you're struggling with identifying what they are the easiest mechanism that i've seen is what are the last 10 reasons why you fired someone right okay when you take a look at it you you might have fired someone because you found out that they were uh being unfaithful in their marriage and that changed the way that you looked at them and every little thing that they did, it irked you until you found a reason to fire them. But you didn't mm. fire them uh, because they left the toilet seat up. Mm. You lo you fired them because they weren't uh, loyal or committed or faithful. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah. And so like reverse engineering the real reasons and then being very consistent in publishing. Hey, guys, our values are around family. Mm. Our values are around faith follow through whatever it is that fuels your way of thinking those yeah. are your values for me i want to be the best i want to close deals and i want to make money go to our website to look at our why that sounds very aggressive 
but I put it out there for all the clients to see. Yeah. And if you want to save the whales in this industry, right? If you want to help people find jobs, do it on your personal time. Mm. We want to make money and we want to close deals, right? And if you make a lot of money, you can donate a lot to whatever charities you want, yeah. <laughs> but being consistent around what your why is yeah. and about your values, then it makes it very easy to provide scalability in the business because nobody's having to look over their shoulder wondering if they're doing a good job. Yeah. All they have to do is look out their mouse pad. Yeah.